Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about AWS Secrets Manager. So I'll be showing you how we can utilize the secret managers in order to save our secrets. So basically the secret manager help us to securely encrypt, store and retrieve the credentials uh, for our database or APIs or anything. Instead of writing hard-coded credentials in our applications, in the config files or the setting files, we can use the secret manager in order to retrieve our credentials whenever it is being required. So it also protect our resources, data. So even we can also rotate the secrets also, that option is also there. So it will, it will create automatically a Lambda function that will help us to rotate our secrets as well as manage our secrets. We can also do the monitoring of our secrets. We can have an audit of our secrets also uh, using this AWS Secret Manager. So lots of things are there inside this. So let's explore. So in today's video, I'll just show you like simple basics like how we can store our secrets and how we can retrieve it. So let's move on to the console. So you can see over here, AWS Secret Manager. So there are lots of case studies are given over here, how it works, what are the benefits, and where which are the services where you can utilize it. So let's start with store a new secret. If you want to go into details, you can just go into this AWS Secret Manager. You can see over here concepts, authentication and access control also, that also you can manage which users can access and all like if you have different different environments uh, like you have the dev environment or the test environment or you have the uh, staging and the prod environment so you can have your secret separately managed and given access to the user depending upon the environments then retrieve secrets rotate secrets also there then we can also have a cloud formation stack in order to save your secrets and all and we have this monitor secrets so lots of things are there so you can just go through it one by one. Okay, let's start with this. You can see these are the secret types that we can store it. You can see uh, credentials for Amazon RDS. Then we can have document DB database, then credentials for Amazon Redshift cluster, for some other databases. So I'm just choosing just a basic other type of secret. So let's say if I put over here, let's use the name I'm using. And the value I'm just typing. This is a plain text I'm typing over here. Key value, or you can just keep it like this. It's your wish adjacent file. So I'm just keeping it as a key value pair. And then you can see encryption type. There is a by default. You can encrypt using the KMS key also, but I'm using this one AWS Secret Manager. You can also add a new key over here. So here you will create the key and then based upon that, you can encrypt also. You can create a customer managed key also basically. So here I'm using the default one. And then you click next over here. Then you can see over here, just you need to put the some secret descriptive name. Just I'm just keeping it as user as user name only. I just don't, don't want to create some confusions, just as username. You can just uh, put over here, access credentials for the application access. Okay, so you can also edit the permissions. There's optional by default, depending upon the resource policies, you can also set up. So I'm just using a root account, so I need not to set, even if you're using this one. So make it sure you edit the resource policy to access the, the secret across all the AWS accounts. Then next, if you want to replicate, you can replicate in different regions. So that is also optional. Uh, okay, so I'll just, use some different name as username one. I think I just created and I didn't delete it. So you cannot duplicate it also as username one. Okay, now it's fine. So we can click next. So you can see over here by default, 
configure automate rotation it is disabled so you can configure it also you can try yourself if you want me to make a video on this i will make a separate video on this for this session just i'm just showing you how to use this aws secret manager so you can see this rotation schedule and all those things are disabled once you choose the option it will automatically enable those options how frequently you want to rotate your secrets and all and automatically it will create a rotation function it's, a, it's like a lambda function it will create and you can define the number of days by which your secret should be rotated and automatically it will like fetch the secrets from their new secret now coming on to this secret type other and all those things so you can see now in order to retrieve the secrets it gives you the code like in java if you want to write the code so you can write this copy this code and all uh, but make sure your SDK is installed and the profile that you're using, the default profile or if you're using certain user profile that is having the access to the AWS Secret Manager, that you need to configure in the ID. So you can see for the C Sharp over here and you can you have to use this namespace in order to utilize the Secret Manager. So you can copy paste this one and then you can create it. So I'm just, you can see there's an option to download the SDK also. Those who are watching this video for the first time, you can just watch my previous video in which I have shown some uh, how to install the SDK and all how you can utilize it um, in Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio. So else you can just download from here and just, then you can install it, the extension in the Visual Studio. So I'm just clicking on the store. So you can just refresh over here. You can see it has been created. Now, if I go to the my Visual Studio, you can see over here I have already copied that code, the C sharp code over here. Just I copy paste it, and we need not to change anything. Just I have created a console application, so you can also create a console application and copy paste that that secret, but make it sure you add this SDK. So this extensions, and you need to add this AWS toolkit. And if you go to the manage extensions, you can just add it to the extensions. Once you added the extension, make it show that particular user. You can see these are the users is logged in. Now, in order to log into this, I'll just show you add AWS credential profile. You need to put your access key ID, secret access key. If you haven't created, you need to log into your account. You have you need to generate the access key and import that access key over here. Then only will be showing you all the options over here. Once you are able to log in properly, because you can see in the code, it is looking for this secret and this region, and it goes, it puts a request, and it awaits like it's getting the secret value async, and then it writes on the console. So if you need to log in, then only you can access the secrets. Okay, so I will just run this one, control F5. So you can see my, I think something went wrong. Okay, let's, let's. Uh, I think I didn't have the secret name, S user name one. Then you can, there is no try and catch, that's why we get those exceptions over there. So let's try one more time. So you can see we got the value over here. This was the value that I have saved. So this is how we can utilize this uh, in our application. Now from the application point of view, like sometimes, you know, uh, some config files and all, you need to uh, like, this is directly just a variable name, you're writing it over here, and then you're mapping it basically. So, it's your wish, like how you go on to use it. Otherwise, each ID has its own way. Like in Visual Studio, we have this uh, managed secrets, but those things are like basically for uh, maintaining the secrets for the dev environment and all those things. But you can also maintain those environments separately in the secret manager also. So this is how we are able to retrieve the value from the uh, secret manager, but make it sure your SDK is installed and you have that particular profile credentials logged in. I will just overview over here. You can see if you don't have that, uh, you just go to the IAM and you need to generate the
you can just go to the users. I'm just using this. Okay, so you can see over here access key. So that value and all those things are coming over here. So you can just create a new access key. You can see manage access keys. And it is one time, remember this one. Just watch my previous video in which I have shown you this, how to use this IAM and how to create user accounts and all. So you can see currently that key is key ID and value that you can see over here. Service last use secret manager. And you can just create a new one. Over here, create access key. So it is just one time you can download it. You can keep it save in your laptop or somewhere, but you can view only one time. And once if you finish the tutorial and all those things, then you can just remove it. If it's your wish, if you want to keep it, you can keep it. But it will show you the audit logs and all where this access key has been used. So no need to worry about it. But you have to continuously monitor these things. Okay, now coming to the again to the secret manager. Now Now coming to this one over here. You can see over here, we have the actions over here. If you want to delete the secret, you can see you are attempting to delete primary secret. This last time it was access zero days ago, next day only. The secret manager requires a minimum waiting period of seven days. So just now I'll put it, put it seven days, then it will be automatically deleted. So schedule the deletion. That's it. So if you uh, like have any confusions and doubts in accessing the secrets, if you want, I will put this code, this visual to record in, in my GitHub repo. I will place the link over there and you can utilize the same code. Just make sure you put your, your profile in the SDK while logging in. And that's it. Use your access key and access key ID in order to configure that SDK. I hope you like my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.